हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास टिल नाउ वी कंप्लीटेड टेन प्रॉब्लम्स इन एक्सरसाइज नंबर टेन पॉइंट टू फ्रॉम वेक्टर ऑलजिब्रा चैप्टर इन केस इफ यू नॉट वॉचड एर्लियर क्लासेस इन दिस वेक्टर ऑलजिब्रा चैप्टर आई एल गिव दैट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन कॉर्ड्स हियर In this class, I am going to do from question number eleven to question number fourteen. We will do four problems in this class. One problem is related to collinear vectors, and remaining three problems are related to direction cosines of a vector. To understand this class very easily, if you know the definition of collinear vectors and direction cosines of a vector, then you can do these problems very easily. So, before going to start this video, please drop a like for this video. Without much delay, let's begin the class. You observe this question number eleven. What they are asking? Show that these two vectors are collinear. We need to show that these two vectors are collinear vectors. While learning the definition of collinear vectors, you learn this point. If one vector is expressed as scalar multiple of other vector, then we say that those two vectors are collinear vectors. Collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. You learn this point. If a vector a bar equal to lambda times of b bar, or the vector b bar equal to lambda times of a bar, then we say the vectors a bar comma b bar are collinear vectors. What I'll try to do now in these two vectors, I'll try to check is it possible to express one vector as scalar multiple of other vector or not. If you observe this vector, observe the scalar components of this vector: minus four, six, minus eight. it seems to be i can take two common in this so first i'll take this vector first i consider this vector what i am trying for i am trying to express one vector as scalar multiple of other so what i'll do here in this vector i'll take minus 2 common take minus 2 common what you will get minus 2 if you take common this is a 2i cap you observe when you multiply these two you will get minus 4i cap here plus 6 is there as you take in minus common this will become minus 3j cap so if you multiply minus 2 into minus 3j you will get plus 6j cap only here minus 8 is there so to get that i'll write here plus 4k cap you observe whatever i got here this vector is same as this vector so what happened one vector is expressed as scalar multiple of other vector if i suppose this vector as a bar so i got that this vector is scalar this is scalar here scalar multiple of another vector if you suppose this vector as b bar you can identify that i got that one vector is a scalar multiple of another vector from this i can say that given vectors are collinear vectors this is very easy question therefore given vectors are collinear vectors now We are going to do another three problems in this class. All those three problems are related to direction cosines of a vector. You observe this question number twelve. What to calculate? Find the direction cosines of this vector. You learn the formula for direction cosines of a vector. I'll write that formula here. You observe this. You learn this formula. Direction cosines of a vector x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap is x divided by square root of x square plus y square plus z square comma y divided by square root of x square plus y square plus z square comma z divided by square root of x square plus y square plus z square this is the formula you learned while learning the definition of direction cosines of a vector here what to find we need to find direction cosines of this vector first i'll write that given vector what is the given vector i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap okay now if you observe in place of x here one is there in place of y here two is there in place of z here three is there so i'll substitute x is one y is two z is three in this formula to get this answer what is x x is one one divided by square root of x square plus y square plus z square that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square comma y what is y y is 2 2 divided by square root of x square plus y square plus z square comma z what is z z is 3 3 divided by root over x square plus y square plus z square okay if i simplify this what i'll get 1 divided by 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 9, 14. So this is root 14. 1 by root 14, comma 
टू डिवाइडेड बाय रूट फोर्टीन का मा थ्री डिवाइड बाय रूट फोर्टीन सो इफ द गिवन वेक्टर इज आई कैप प्लस टू जे कैप प्लस थ्री के कैप देन डायरेक्शन क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस वेक्टर आर वन बाय रूट फोर्टीन का मा टू बाय रूट फोर्टीन का मा थ्री बाय रूट फोर्टीन आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड you can do this problem very easily only the thing is you need to know this formula this is the formula to calculate direction cosines of a vector x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap now we'll move to next question that is also related to direction cosines of a vector you observe this question number 13 what they are asking in this question number 13 find the direction cosines of a vector joining the points a and b we need to find direction cosines of a vector joining the points a and b directed from a to b we need to find direction cosines of a vector joining from a to b which is directed from a to b that means i need to calculate direction cosines of a vector ab bar a to b i need to find direction cosines of a vector ab bar here in the question directly they specified what is ab bar they not given we need to calculate the vector ab bar to calculate ab bar we know the formula what is the formula to calculate ab bar ab bar can be written as ob bar minus oa bar but in the question they given ob bar oa bar no it's okay but they given the points a and b we know that every point can be expressed in terms of its position vector in last class also we discussed this if the point a is 1 comma 2 comma minus 3 then from this we can write oa bar what is oa bar oa bar is i cap plus 2 j cap minus 3 k cap similarly if you know the point b as the given point b as minus 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 from this you can write ob bar what is ob bar ob bar is minus i cap Minus 2j cap plus k cap. This we already learned in earlier classes also. What we need to find? We need to find direction cosines of a vector ab bar. For that, I need the vector ab bar. I know the formula to calculate the vector ab bar. What is the formula for ab bar? The formula for ab bar is ob bar minus oa bar. Okay. What is ob bar? Ob bar is minus i cap minus 2j cap. Plus k cap. This is ob bar minus oa bar. What is oa bar? Oa bar is i cap plus 2j cap minus 3k cap. Now subtract these two vectors. What you will get? Minus 1 minus 1. That is minus 2 i cap minus 2 minus 2. That is minus 4j cap. Plus one minus of minus plus plus one plus three that is plus four k cap. I got the vector ab bar. What is the vector ab bar? Minus two i cap minus four j cap plus four k cap. So now I know the vector ab bar. To calculate direction cosines of this vector, this is the formula. Okay, direction cosines of ab bar equal to. x what is x x is minus 2 divided by root over x square that is minus 2 whole square plus y square that is minus 4 whole square plus z square that is 4 whole square okay comma y what is y y is minus 4 divided by root over minus 2 whole square plus minus 4 whole square plus 4 whole square comma what is z z is 4 divided by root over minus 2 whole square plus minus 4 whole square plus 4 whole square. In this formula, in place of x y z, I substituted minus 2 minus 4 for respectively to get this. Okay. If I simplify this further, what I'll get? Minus 2 divided by minus 2 whole square is 4. Minus 4 whole square is 16. 4 plus 16 is 20. 20 plus 16 that is 36. Root thirty six is what? Root thirty six is six. Okay. So here, what you will get? Minus four divided by this is thirty six. Root thirty six is six. Okay. Four divided by six. You can stop this here, or you can simplify a little bit if you want. Two table in this three times. Here two table two times two table three times two table two times two table three times. So what you will get? You will get minus one by three comma minus. 2 by 3, comma 2 by 3. 
So these are the direction cosines of the vector a b bar. I hope you understand this. This is easy only. You observe this question number 14. What they are asked? Show that the vector, this is the given vector. We need to show that this vector is equally inclined to OX, OY, OZ. Here, OX is positive x-axis, OY is positive y-axis, OZ is positive z-axis. In this question, what they are asking? This vector is equally inclined to OX, OY, OZ. It means that we need to show that this vector makes equal angles with OX, OY, OZ. To prove that this vector makes equal angles with OX, OY, OZ, I'll calculate direction cosines of given vector first. Later, we'll discuss that this vector is equally inclined with coordinate axis or not. First, find direction cosines of this vector. The given vector is I cap plus J cap plus K cap. We know the formula for direction cosines of a vector. What is the formula for direction cosines of a vector? This is the formula to calculate direction cosines of a vector. Here, in place of x, I'll write 1. In place of y, I'll write 1. In place of z, I'll write 1 because the scalar components of this vector are 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, substitute this x, y, z values in this formula. x value is 1. 1 divided by root over 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square, comma y value is also 1 1 divided by root over 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square z z value is also 1 divided by root over x x square plus y square plus z square if i simplify this what i will get 1 divided by root 3 comma 1 divided by root 3 comma 1 divided by root 3 what are these these are the direction cosines of given vector what is the definition of direction cosines of given vector if a vector makes an angle alpha with x axis makes an angle beta with y axis makes an angle gamma with z axis then cos alpha comma cos beta comma cos gamma are called direction cosines of that vector that means whatever you got here this is cos alpha this is cos beta this is cos gamma you observe here what is cos alpha cos alpha is 1 by root 3 as you got cos alpha here i can write alpha what is alpha alpha is the angle made by this vector with x axis i got alpha as cos inverse of 1 by root 3 okay now what is this this is cos beta what is cos beta we got cos beta we got it as 1 by root 3 from this we can write beta what is beta beta is cos inverse of 1 by root 3 what is beta beta is the angle made by this vector with y axis i got beta as cos inverse of 1 by root 3 you see here also cos inverse of 1 by root 3 here also cos inverse of 1 by root 3 okay and what is cos gamma we got that cos gamma is 1 by root 3 from this what is gamma gamma is cos inverse of 1 by root 3 so here i got alpha beta gamma from the definitions of direction cosines of a vector we know that alpha is the angle made by this vector with x axis beta is the angle made by this vector with x axis gamma is the angle gamma is the angle made by this vector with z axis you can identify that alpha value beta value gamma value we got same that means by seeing these three things we can say that alpha is same as beta is same as gamma these three angles are equal that means what it concludes it concludes that given vector makes equal angles with the x axis y axis z axis so therefore therefore given vector is equally inclined to ox oy oz i hope you understand this problems in vector algebra are very easy you can enjoy this chapter only when you are good in the theory part if you like this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye